Previously on Ickenfell, the party climbed the spell tower and acquired their ultimate weapons. They then found Safina near the top in a forced sleeping spell. Finally, they went back to the library to fight Codexus, a super boss that summons minions while pushing the party back to the east edge of the arena. Okay. I need to go east here. And there's the... There's the bathroom, I think. Yeah. Oh! This is the secret. Okay, I think this is a good enough party. You hear a faint humming. Touch a mirror. Echo heart reacts. How can I expect to live up to others' expectations if I can't even live up to my own? I'm worthless and I hate myself. I hate how I look, how I act, how I speak. I just wish I wasn't me. Everyone's dark mirror, huh? I push everyone away because I don't think they really like me. I'm unpleasant to be around. And Pertizia's... I'm afraid to sleep at night. I push myself until I collapse, and wake up crying for, from terrible dreams. I allow myself no mistakes, no failure. If I fail, I create a larger chasm between me and my peers. I just want what others have. I'm jealous, angry, spiteful, and utterly embarrassed about it. We depart together or not at all? Yeah, this is a very, uh, this is a very messed up gimmick. Pretty much means that I'm never going to be able to, uh, uh, it's going to be very hard to kill all of them uh, very close to simultaneously, especially when they outnumber the entire party. Even Sadio's bombs don't really do enough. The fact that they can heal as well just makes it even harder to actually get simultaneous kills, doesn't it? Take care of that trap as well. I know there's a trap along here somewhere.
fact that I have two people hanging out in the back really sucks. Like, how are you even supposed to get uh, deal with the positioning with six enemies at once? The fact that they won't even move from their spot in the back really sucks. Like, damn. Finally, you move a little closer. Oh, come on. I hope they have a decent grace period for when they enter their temporary death state. Why the hell is that one just standing there? It's so s I just... Oh my goodness. Well, at least they give us a visible countdown, but... This is still not favorable. Now I have only so much time to kill the rest of these jerks. One more, let's hunt them down. Ugh. Okay, I think we have enough of a grace period to kill the remaining one. Gilda. Teleport to your other self and finish them. One! Oh my goodness. I'll have a lot of time left. Okay, nine more. I uh, I think we can finish you off with just one more strike. Didn't even need a grate for that one. Okay, now you all leave together. Ugh. Even with Sadio's bombs, that was a very close call because of how spread out all the enemies are. I knew... Do I get any rewards? I'm proud of what I've accomplished in the face of a world that would see me fail. I tell myself I'm worthless, over and over, but those I love do not believe that, and I trust them. My friends value my company, and don't always expect me to be perfect. I can return that love.
Time can heal many wounds, and I'm lucky to have someone who can support me. I can heal. I have many times failed before, yet I survived. Everyone has their struggles. I'm allowed to fail. I envy my friends, but I am also proud of them. They rely on my strengths more than I know. I feel like this battle would have been better if we could have all six people, but even then, maybe surrounding the uh, surrounding the mirror versions. I don't know. But, wait. Do we even get any prizes for that? I don't think we did. Hmm. Yeah, what did that actually accomplish for us? It's just an empty room now. No prize, no nothing. Maybe I was expected to steal from them? I don't know. Alright, let's start opening these cat doors. Cat door opens its mouth. You insert the all key. Kitty ears. Cat door opens its mouth. It's right near the roost, at the top of the roost. Kitty wand. Okay, next door in the stock and barrel bar. Kitty suit. There we go. Cat door opens its mouth. Kitty tail. Okay, and this is the groundskeeper's house. Kitty paws. Hello there, young ones. Welcome to our domain. We are the clan of the All Cat. We have watched over Ickenfell since the first bricks were laid. The first headmistress was a dear friend of to us, to all gods, and we have been watching you. You are compassionate and powerful. We would have you join our ranks as watchers and protectors. Will you pass our trial and join our society? Okay, let's give it a shot. Excellent. Now prove yourselves. Let the trial begin. Alright, I'm playing this entire battle on four times speed here. It is very brutally long, especially because I fucked up and had Gilda equip her second best weapon instead of her best weapon. That means her DPS is terrible, because this game was clearly bound for you to use your best weapon. Well, this battle in particular. Yeah, right now this is the first weaker form of the cat of the all cat, and even then it is quite tanky, and even the minions are kind of tanky. I got one of them to run away, but they'll just respawn. Yeah, even with four times speed, this took way too long. And sadly, I do not have a save to redo the whole thing with better DPS. I think it would have been better to use Petronella for this one just for the poison damage. Rook would not be good because there's too many minions to deal with. Rook is pretty much only good if the enemy is always alone. Well, Petronella can still inflict poison even if there are multiple enemies, and maybe even poison multiples of them just to make it a little bit easier to win the Battle of Attrition. Yeah, I think Petronella would have been a fine choice here. The boss is so fast and tanky that I think poison would do way more damage than mo most normal attacks would. Unless the boss is immune to poison somehow, I don't actually know. I don't have a safe file, so I can't really confirm. I'm not sure how the respawning for the uh, minion cats work. Does it work at s specific hit point thresholds or not? Or does it just happen uh, 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 after a certain amount of time? I wish it, I wish it was more clear. I real maybe I should have gone after the minion cats first and hope that the boss doesn't summon anymore. Okay, 
Okay, standing in the same row is not a good idea with the white cats around. And also, they seem... Uh, 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 both cats are named Snowy. Was that the name of Pertesia's cat? Does that mean... Uh, uh, Pertesia's cat is actually uh, uh, just a collective identity f uh, for multiple uh, white cats? That could be it. Okay, second form, giant cat head. That rainbow ripple is difficult to time. I think I have to time it when the edge of the circle hits the character. I really should have bought more healing items, and I really wish the healing items were tabbed into separate categories. It's, it's kind of difficult to scroll through every single y usable item. Especially when the li list is just a straight line instead of a, a two by something grid. I think there are so many si similar colored cats makes me think that Pertesia's cat really is just one of many. Also, the, is Pertesia's actual cat in this battle for real? Because that would make that cat a traitor. Should have sided with us instead of the all cat. But then, if the, if Pertesia's cat did that, then they would still be a traitor to the cat clan in general. So that would still be that would still be bad. Uh, I'm still pretty depressed about uh, screwing up with the equipment, though. Even if I didn't screw up, I feel like the battle would still take so long that I would still have to need to put it on four times speed. Or maybe, uh, uh, actually, since I only screwed up one person's DPS, maybe I would only need it on three times speed. I'm not sure how the math would go down here. So let's say I lost one six of my DPS total because of Gilda again worse equipment. Hmm. Yeah, probably about three times speed would still be enough. No, it would not. I'd still need four times speed because this is so ridiculously long. Yes, the bonus boss, so I guess it is expected for it to be long, but still. So, uh, I had to. I think it took me like 40 minutes to, just to beat this boss. Yes, yeah, so on 4 times speed and the uh, sped up section about 10 minutes, so that took me 40 minutes a total. Yeah, I, pr I probably could have optimized it better, maybe use more buff foods to. Uh, 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 to, to make up for Merit not using her own buff all the time. Yes, yeah, so that probably would have been better. So it's hard to find time to buff when you only have three characters on the field at a time. I think it, uh, I think I would prefer if there was a uh, the game had a larger grid bu uh, uh, for battle while also allowing more party members on board since. The enemies don't seem to have the same party limitations as us. Plus, they can teleport all over the place, so they really are not limited by the, uh, by this uh, grid system at all compared to the party. Yeah, especially in that battle of the clones. They could teleport wherever they pleased. Not like us who have to worry about stepping on each other. Yeah, I, can't, I don't have the footage to read the v v video, so I'm just gonna... To turn and fast forward and pretend I didn't completely fuck up my DPS. It's not like anyone's go uh, going to comment until like six months later. That's how it usually works with my comment section for some reason. No one's gonna notice for like six months. And by then, I can say, Look, I already finished the game, what do you expect me to do? Yeah, I mostly bought the minty potion because I figured it does say uh, uh, even the dedicated healing potions cost slightly less while only healing the same amount as the minty potion. Seems like a weird design choice, not uh, to have it uh, go all the way to sixty. Uh, yeah, I really should have gone with poison if I could redo the battle. I don't, uh, can I redo the battle? Maybe I should try talking to all cat again. I don't know. Even then, I don't really feel like doing it. I mean, the battle's pretty much doable as long as you have enough items and uh, 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 items and enough mental fortitude. 
It has mostly a long battle of attrition against a very tanky enemy that you can still mostly survive if you play correctly. As long as you do a decent job of managing your hit points. Yeah, but buffs don't really last very long, even though we have so few people to budget our turns with. Ah, uh, no, that screws up our entire formation. Okay, defeat the all-cat. Wait, is that an attack? Okay, good, it's not. Extraordinary. Our judgment in choosing you is wise. You are hereby introduced in the, into the clan of the all-cat. Word us when you travel, to mark yourself a member of our society. Clan insignia. While the ravens watch, only we see all. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Ikenfell. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.